Okay, hey. I'm making a YouTube video doing some makeup. I've never done this before, really, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. I have some stuff I wanted to try out, and I just wanted to do some makeup. So I'm just gonna kind of film this and see how it goes. I might even post it. I just kind of want to see how the audio is and how the video looks and if the setup looks good with the lighting and whatnot. So, yeah. Let's do some makeup, I guess. So, this is the Milk Hydro Grip. Um, I'm gonna use the new Smashbox foundation, the matte one. So, I wanted a hydrating primer, that way my skin doesn't hate me. Uh, and sorry about my hair, I didn't wash it today, so it's just gonna be, you know, crazy. So, foundation, little beauty blender that I need to clean again. I don't really know how much to use, so we're just gonna start small and build it up, I guess. Foundation's pretty much on. I don't know how this will wear, so I guess we'll see. And of course, all the kids just got out of school, so if you hear screaming children outside my window, there's a school across the street, so that's why. Um, I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics. Um, under eye concealer. Like you only need like a really tiny amount. Heart, um, creaseless concealer. I'm gonna try it. I've never used this one before, so I guess we'll see. Also, this might be a little too yellow for me. Uh, it's not bad, it's a little yellow. This foundation is like really matte, which I haven't worn a matte foundation in a while. So I don't really know if I like them anymore, but I don't know. I've been kind of oily lately, so maybe I will. And it's got a lot of good reviews. So we shall see. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of powder, but not a lot. Because if I do too much, it'll be crazy. I'm using the Kat Von D powder. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. I'm just gonna kinda dot it in the center and then blend it out. Charlotte Tilbury powder, this one's in number two. Um, this one's a little too dark for me, so I usually just use it on the outside of my face. That way it gives me like kind of a bronze. Again, I'm not sure you're able to see it with the lighting, but I had it in a little bit in the middle too. Great. Um, Fenty bronzer in Shady Biz. On like an angled it brush. Just like on the outside. Kind of left the center. 
under of my nose, which some like fuller coverage foundations do. So that is kind of sad. Um, I'm gonna use this Revolution Cosmetics Concealer and try and fix it, but I don't know if I will be able to. This one usually doesn't move on me, so we'll see. If I can get it to at least not look splotchy there, where it kind of faded away. Mm. Yeah, I kind of still see the line where the foundation moved. That's kind of annoying. foundation first, then I set it, I do a little bit of bronzer, and then I do my eyes and all that, and then I go back and do my blush and um, highlight and stuff. So I kind of skip around between the face and the eyes. I'm just using the MAC Paint Pot, Norvina Volume 2, um, that I just got sent today. Beautiful. So we're gonna try this. I'm probably gonna use like some of the greens and stuff in here, since there's a lot of greens. Um, and I'm kind of feeling like a green mood, so we'll do that. Um, okay, we'll explain it. <laughs> I'm just taking um, lighter shade and blending it into like the crease area, I guess. I don't know. I don't, when I do my makeup, I don't really think about it in like words. Oh good, there's a fly in here. Flying around my head. What an appropriate time for that to happen. I'm just kind of like deepening what I did. This like teal color towards the bottom of the palette. Bring that in there. Like working like the outside of my eye because I'm gonna take like a more one of the more shimmery shades in this palette and kind of bring it in the center or like inner corner area. So I just work in the outside for now. Okay, um, it's not like super even, which is kind of driving me crazy. are like chalky and like nothing but these are beautiful um so yeah this shade this bright one at the top here uh this guy oh don't have my dirty makeup counter um i'm gonna take that and put it on the lid with my finger Down here, and do that on 
the inner corner. I'm gonna take this Urban Decay liner. It's from the, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the Basquiat collection that um, Urban Decay did. Um, it's in the shade Post Punk. Pretty sure it was limited edition, so you're not gonna find it. So sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put this on my inner or my waterline, and a little bit on my like lower lash line or whatever. It's just like a really pretty kind of lime neon green. Like a Juvia's Place brush, like a really tiny guy. And I'm gonna use that with some of the lighter shadows that I use to kind of blend out the lower lash line so that it evens up at the top. And I'm like the worst about tugging on my eye, but I guess I'm just like destined to have like wrinkly eyelids in the future, or under eyes. I give like no regard for being gentle with my under eye. I probably shouldn't do that. Take some of that teal color. I'm just gonna bring it all together here. And the fucking fly is back. My blending brush, blend up this corner. from the top and bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna take some other shades and pop them in here. Just to give this like a little bit more depth. I'm just gonna take like, some of the blues and put them over the green. That way it kind of gives it some like cool shifts, dimension, whatever. shade in the bottom corner here and I'm gonna put it like along my brow bone for some highlight and then I always do my brows before I do my mascara because sometimes when I'm doing my brows I will transfer my mascara up to my lid so I always do my brows first I'm gonna take this hourglass pencil really skinny guy and just kind of like draw in a little bit more of a tail since I shave my tail off. Um, so I kind of just like extend out the edge of it a little bit, not a lot. Well, some days it's a lot, but some days it's not. And today I don't want a lot. Just enough like that. I showed up right when I'm trying to like film this. And I have something in my eye too, so that's great. This color is, I think like warm blonde or something. Yeah, warm blonde, which is like way too late for me. Um, So take the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel and just comb that through a little bit. And this is medium brown, which is like more my color. So that's my brows. I'm 
gonna do mascara. I'm gonna use the milk. Of course, I'm dropping stuff. I'm gonna use the milk uh, Kush mascara. some blush. I'm gonna use the um, Anastasia Trio, the Berry Adore one. Um, I kind of just like mix a lot of the colors together, but I start with the lighter one and I kind of build it with darkness. Um, I'm just gonna kind of keep it towards the back. So I always start like at my ear and just kind of circle it around in here and bring it forward a little bit. Um, that just tends to look better on my bone structure. So it's a little bit like that. And then I'll take some highlighter, do the Dream Glow Kit, which is this one, which I think was a limited edition one. You might be able to slide it on their website. I'm at 100%. Um, I'm going to do this shade. I think it's called Royal. No, Regal. Take Regal at the bottom and do that one. My big bag of Anastasia glosses. I'm gonna use this one, which is Metallic Rose. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of lip balm first. This is Jack Black lip balm. It's my favorite lip balm ever. If you ever need a good lip balm, this is the one. Cool, cool. Um, for setting spray, I'm gonna do the Tatcha. Um, satin skin mist. And that is it. So I'm sorry that my hair is trash for this video, but here's the look. I'll kind of try and zoom the camera in if I can. That palette is really awesome, and so is the Collection 1, or Norvina Collection Volume 1. That one's really good too. That one's just more purple, and this one's more like blues and greens and stuff. Um, yeah, it's a good one. I can't wait to get the third one. I think I get it in a few days. So when I do, maybe I'll make another video. If there's anything you wanna see, or um, anything you want me to show off, or talk about, or teach, or whatever. Um, comment, I guess, and let me know, um, and subscribe, because I'll maybe make more of these if enough people, like, care to watch me do makeup. Um, so yeah, hopefully this looked okay. I'm gonna go edit it and, and check. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>